Hey, welcome to 5-Minute Friday. It's where we end our week with the Word of God. You know, here in Happy Valley right now, it's a beautiful fall day. The sun's shining, the wind's blowing, and the trees are losing their leaves. I'm looking at a couple right now that have lost about three-quarters of their leaves just in the last week or so. We've had our rain come in and kind of cold, chilly weather at night. And this time of year, I think about how do people do it? People that don't have the same things that I've been blessed with. And maybe that means they don't know where the next hot meal is coming from or they don't have warm enough clothes. And so it made me think back about the last couple of weeks. And really, it started actually last summer. In this parking lot down here, we had a resource um, fair, really, where we had different booths set up. And one of the groups that came were called the Bottle Drop Ladies. All right? It's just, it's just two women. And they were pulling carts behind them, you know, like as they're walking around their parking lot. And these ladies, really since COVID, were looking for ways to connect people in need to the resources that they could collect. And when the social service organizations kind of shut down, it was hard to figure out ways to do that. And so they just kind of set up shop at a bottle drop location. So where they, people go to recycle cans and bottles uh, to get some income so they can use for their needs and really their wants as well. They just sat up there and started giving things away and building relationships with people and providing care. Um, I had the opportunity at the invitation of Gail, one of our members here, she's really energetic and, and really connected to folks. And she says, Pastor John, would you come out and, and help serve with us? And I said, yeah, sure thing, man. I like that kind of stuff. And people have asked me over the years, why do you uh, like helping people, uh, especially if you don't know what they're going to do with the help that you're giving them? And don't you worry about all that stuff? And for me, I wanted to share the verses today that kind of help me be okay with it and realize it's not about me knowing what's going to be done with all the resources, but me serving the Lord. And so I'm going to take you through Matthew chapter 25, beginning at verse 34. You know, Jesus is talking about separating the sheep from the goats, or really the believers from the unbelievers. And he says this, Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. And then the righteous people will ask, answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you, a stranger, and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick, or in prison, and go visit you? Then the king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Now, I think that text is beautiful because, one, it's Jesus, the really God in the human form, right? He had all the ability and all the power in the universe saying, these people, really all people, are my brothers and sisters. That's beautiful. But the other part is, says, whenever you, that say you believe in me, serve one of the least of these meaning least valued by your society or least thought of. Whenever you serve those folks, you're serving me. And so that's really my motivation, and I hope it's yours. When we're growing in our faith, when we're growing as disciples of Christ, we've talked about all this, you're stepping one step closer to what God is calling you to be and what he's calling you to do. Just one step closer, right? For me, that one step was going to serve a couple of weeks ago with the bottle drop ladies. Uh, for you, you may not be ready to do that yet. Maybe for you, it's just reading the text or it's beginning to pray for folks that feel like the least of these. But what I hope it does is it helps you, the Word of God helps you to become more connected out of love and joy and grace and to bring the, that presence into everything you do and everywhere you serve. So I hope you look for opportunities 
to step one step to the right, to grow in discipleship, and to share that gospel message, the hope you have and the love you have for others because of what Jesus has done in your life. And if you ever want to join me, we can go out right down into our neighborhood together. God bless you. We'll see you next time.